All right, welcome back to another video. Today we are on the Angler Call of the Wild, and uh, the daily challenges for today were to catch. Um, I got some that are like just the any challenges, just catch a certain amount of weight and then a certain amount of fish, and then the other one was the, for cutthroat trout. So I figured we might as well just come to the good cutthroat trout spot and see if we can't catch any diamonds while we're working on these daily challenges. So that's what we're going to be going for today. We already got something pretty good, but that looks like a rainbow trout. But it is a pretty big one. And also at this spot, uh, you can also catch a diamond rainbow trout, which I have actually caught one here before. Me and my wife was playing together the other day, and I caught a diamond rainbow trout, diamond brook trout, and a diamond cutthroat trout all here within like an hour. So that's why we're coming back here, because I haven't ever really showed me catching a diamond here. So... Figured I'd come out here since that is part of the challenge for today. So um, let's hopefully catch a diamond before this video is over. And let's see what else is here. Oh, that's a big fish right there. I don't think that that's a diamond, but that is a big fish. And you can see he's actually taking line out. So I'm going to go ahead and pump my drag up a little bit. I think this is, I think this way is a little bit more fun. Uh, you're not, like, you're actually, I mean, I doubt this thing would ever snap my line or anything or spool me, but I'm not just casting and reeling them in easily with these bigger fish anyways. That little brook trout was very easy to reel in. And I think you actually get more XP whenever you uh, use ladder tackle, so. And if you're wondering about XP, I believe that you do get more, and that is a gold, gold cutthroat trout already. We got 88 XP for that, and two gold tokens. That event is still going on, which is kind of another reason why I came over here, because I am trying to save up to get the, um, man, I don't know the name of it, but it's that, you gotta have like a thousand reputation, and you get it out of the local souvenirs, and it can have like, I think like, I could be wrong, but I think it's like 99 pound line or something insane. And it's the, uh, it's kind of looks just like the reel that I are, or the rod that I already have, but it's just pretty much a better version of it. And, uh, I really want to get that. So I'm trying to get as much of these golds and diamonds as I can as this event's going on. I think that's a silver. Oh, I thought that was a brook trout. I was wrong. So kind of what I do whenever I'm fishing out here is I'll make a cast kind of look around because a lot of times I spot my diamonds before I catch them and um, so I'll look around a little bit and if I see like that was a pretty good sized fish right there I don't know if that will be a diamond but that was a pretty big fish so we'll cast out to him and see if we can't get him hooked up we'll figure out what he was but I like to just kind of oh he is going for it the second one got there first so I'm gonna let him take it but I'm not gonna set the hook and then the bigger one should go for it now now there is a little risk about doing what I just did because that could have been a big uh, cutthroat or big brook trout, but I didn't think it was, so I just went ahead and let him get off. But this guy was a little bit smaller than I thought he was. Still pretty decent, silver at four pounds. But um, I like to just kind of look around and, oh, that's a big brook trout right there. We are definitely gonna try to catch him. Oh, I don't really want to, but I'll go ahead and really, that is a, that's probably a gold brook trout right there. But uh, my favorite thing is, or not my favorite thing, but my favorite way to fish is just kind of looking around and just seeing what's around you and then casting to what you want to cast to. Now, if you're looking around, you don't really see much, and I just cast as far out as I can. Oh, he was going for it right there. But I just kind of cast out as far as I can until uh, something big starts going for it. We got this big brook trout right here. Oh, that could be a gold. It might just be a silver. Oh, it is just a silver at three pounds. I thought it looked, I guess it just looked a little bit bigger in the water. Like that is a big fish right there. So we're going to also cast for him. And I like to only use a size, uh, a hook size for the silvers and up. But I don't, I think that's size six and I don't have that on me. So I think I still can catch bronzes right now. I guess he didn't see the... Oh, he's going for it. There he is. Also, I guess I'll show the spot. If somehow y'all don't know about this spot, I feel like this might be like one of the most well-known spots in Golden Ridge Reserve, especially, if not the entire game. 
just with the amount of diamonds that are out here. But um, you start at the main outpost right here, and it's straight west and a tad bit south at the very bottom of this. Um, I guess it's like a little river or, or turns into a river, but it's like a lake that turns into like a little river. And it's called the Full Stomach Outpost or Full Stomach Trailhead, and you just head southwest from there. And I like fishing this point right here. This is my favorite spot. But you can also get Diamond Brook Trout all throughout, like right around this bridge is also a very good spot for Diamond Brook Trout. And also down here is a good spot for Diamond Brook Trout. But the spot that I'm in right now is very good for cutthroat trout. And you can also get Diamond Brook Trout and Diamond Rainbow Trout here as well. It just will not be as often. I think I got, no, I don't think I do. thought I had something going for it. We do got something going for it now. I actually got three. One of those is a big rainbow, and I think that's the one that got it. I think that was, yeah, that's a pretty good sized rainbow. I don't think it's big enough to be a gold, but it is a very good sized one. This is silver, 7.2 pounds. Man, I wish I could catch a rainbow trout that big in real life. I don't need to go back too far because he wasn't that far back there, but it seemed like there's a pretty decent brook trout that jumped right over there. So we're going to cast over there a couple times and see if we can't get him. And it could have just been a cutthroat trout, but because it, it was far away, it was kind of hard to see. I'm not too sure. And I think, oh, it might have just been this. It might have just been a cutthroat. It is a pretty decent one at that, so I'm not too mad at that. We got him pulled up. Decent silver. Ready for one of them to turn into a diamond. Now, just in case that wasn't the one that I saw, I'm going to make another cast over there. Then I'll probably make a cast over to my left and then move back up to where I was. Got another fish on. I mean, there's just so many trout in this area. If you love trout fishing, I'd come here for sure. And I love trout fishing, so that's why I fish here. And that is a brook trout, so maybe that's the one that I saw. It looks like a decent one. Probably just another silver, though. Yep. It is another silver. I wish I could catch this many silver of those uh, crappie, man. Those things freaking. They beat me the other day. I tried and I tried and I tried and they just, I ended up catching a silver after that, but it was, I think it was barely even silver anyways. All right. Welcome back to the second half of this video, I guess. Uh, I was thinking about going and fishing somewhere else since I completed all those challenges yesterday, but then I looked, challenges are pretty much the exact same today as they were yesterday. I uh, do got to catch like two cutthroat trout or something, so I figured I might as well just come right back to the same spot. We didn't catch a diamond here yesterday anyways. Ooh, that's a good brook trout to my right. But we didn't catch a real big, di uh, or we didn't catch any diamonds here yesterday, so I figured we could come back and maybe this time we will. We got a brook trout right there. Looks like a decent one. I think it's got to at least be a silver, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. 4.3 pound brook trout, not bad at all. We got another little brook trout on here. And that is exactly what we got. Seems to be a lot of brook trout over here right now. Which I can't really just say I'm mad at. I really like brook trout. Dang, I didn't even see anything going for it. Oh, pretty decent on the tension though. Oh my gosh, my dog's so dumb. And I think this is a diamond brook trout too. It's at least a gold for sure. Yep, gold brook trout right there. Don't know why my dog had to just start randomly barking for no reason. Why'd you do that to you? Maybe she knew it was a gold, so she was cheering me on. That's crazy. I haven't even caught two cutthroats here yet. Maybe they're all hiding behind me. Well, there's one right there. Maybe if I get it reeled in enough, he'll go for it. Oh my gosh, that's a... Huge cutthroat trout right there. Yeah, he's actually going to be dragging line out. I think that could be a diamond. That thing looks like it could be a diamond. For sure gold, but that could be a diamond right there. That thing is huge. I don't know. I don't know if it's fighting hard enough to be a diamond or not. 
But I mean, that thing does look massive, so I don't know. I guess we're about to find out. Oh, just a gold at 9.7 pounds. Still a very big fish. So I'm not really, not really upset about that. But maybe that's a good sign. Maybe we got a diamond that's going to show up soon. Also, if y'all want me to go fish the uh, Norway Reserve. I think that's what they're called. Norway Reserve, Norway Map, same thing. If y'all want me to go fish uh, that, just let me know down in the comments if that's something that y'all would want me to do. Because I do have that map. I do like it. I have never caught a diamond on that map, though. And I really want to catch a diamond Atlantic salmon. So if that sounds like something y'all would want to watch. I mean, it's pretty much doing this, exactly what I'm doing right now with these trout. Except the fish are about five times bigger on some of the fish. Like the diamond salmon is like 30, 40 pounds, I think. Like they get huge. And it's actually pretty fun. And I just started thinking about that. So I think I'm going to do that anyways. All right. So after I made those three casts, nothing even went for it. So I'm going to take a little peek around here. I'll actually jump off the boat for a second. Walk up and down here and see if there's a diamond cutthroat trout just somewhere down here. Just to be completely sure before I go fishing for something else. So I'm not seeing one anywhere. So I guess that means we can go ahead and start fishing for the largemouth bass. So I'm going to go on the Angler Official Discord. Oh my gosh, what in the world? No, 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 no. Why did that just happen? Why did that just happen? Can you catch a spooked fish? I don't freaking know, but I'm about to sit here for 10 hours and try. So yeah, if you walk the banks, you actually have a good chance at finding something. Now, I have no idea if you can catch a spooked fish or not. I would say you can, because that's definitely the fish that I just spooked. Oh my gosh, that thing is huge. Dang it, I should have used my, first, my other reel. Oh well. Let's see what we got here. Wow. That is actually insane, what just happened. That is so crazy. Right as I'm about to stop, right as I'm about to stop fishing for him, as whenever he decides he wants to come out. So we made it to the spot where I'm gonna be fishing for largemouth bass, and got the size five popper on, which is supposed to be the silver size hook for them. And uh, let me go ahead and show y'all where I'm at. So we got the main outpost right here. Got the bridge that uh, has the diamond sturgeon right here. And then there's like this first point, then it kind of goes back and then comes into the second point. I'm fishing right off that second point. And uh, we'll see how good this spot does. Got a random white crappie just swimming around here during the day. We got him. That was strange. Only 0.9 pounds, so nothing too special there. But it is a white crappie, so. Well, you're not what I want. That's what I want. I think we got the. I think we got the crappie. Yeah, we did. So I guess we just turned this into going for white crappie instead of going for largemouth bass. And that one was over a pound, so they are getting bigger. We'll just catch. Whoa! That dude went flying. Oh, it was a rock bass. He was trying to get in the boat before he's even off the hook. Alright, so I guess that's all we're gonna get today. Got a couple. We got that diamond and we got a couple gold, so really not bad. We'll probably come back out here on my. Not the next angler video, but the angler video after that. Probably come out here and do some bass fishing, go for large mouth and small mouth. So uh, I will see y'all then. Next video should be out on Thursday. This one's coming out on a Tuesday. Next one should be a Thursday, hopefully. Uh, Thursday or Friday. I'll give myself a little day in there. But uh, thank you guys for watching, and I'll see y'all Thursday or Friday.